Hello and welcome to this new exciting tutorial where we are going to make a stylized, dynamic, clean, 2D and relaxing water surface. Let's get started. Here in Blender, we have our relaxing frog with some elements and creatures swimming and floating on water. We will make a nice and interactive water for them using a simple geometry node setup and a big complex shading nodes setup. Render engine is EV, ray tracing is on, transparent is checked, and color management sRGB standard. We'll start by moving 3D cursor to the world origin. We'll now add a plane, scale it, move it till it covers the camera view. Now in edit mode, I will subdivide it, let's say by 100. Moving now to Geometry Node View. We'll add a new and name it Water Ripple. Before I do anything, let's select one of those floating elements and I will add it to a new collection. Let's call it Elements on Water so that later everything in this collection will get the dynamic ripple effect. We'll start by dragging the collection into the geometry node setup. Switch to relative and connect an input to the collection. We'll now connect it to a realize instances node. To geometry proximity. To map range. Then connect this to an output. Now I want the min value to be an input so that I can edit it from modifiers tab. So I will connect it to an input and here it is. Now in output attributes, I need a color attribute which is not here. So I will move to data. In color attributes, I will add a new one. Call it color wota, for example. Keep it black, then add. Now I will choose it in result. And in Geometry Nodes view, in Properties, Group tab, I will select Result and change the type from Float to Color. Switch to Shading view now. Add a new material. Delete the principal BSDF. And we'll add Color Attribute. Choose Color Water, which we have just created. Connect it now to the output and here we start to see a good result, but I want to invert it. So back to geometry nodes for one last time and set to max to zero and to min to one. It's reversed now, but too big. That's because we need to apply the scale for the plane. Perfect. Back into shader editor, we'll add a value node to start the animation and we'll type a simple hashtag frame driver. To slow it down, I will add a math divide node. And let's divide it by 150 to really slow things down to make it look relaxing. Now, math add node to add both. And to the output. To add the ripples now, we'll add a noise texture. 4D, Control T to add a mapping and texture coordinate. Now to mix things together, we'll add a color mix node. The output from here to A, the noise node mapping to B, then the result to the noise again. To get the ripple effect moving now, We'll add a multiply math node. Then multiply the noise output with the color attribute itself to get those ripples to move perfectly. Now to stylize things, we'll start by switching from generated to object. Increase scale in noise node, reduce detail, reduce roughness, 
Then we'll reduce the factor here to get more of the noise. To get the desired 2D look now, we'll add a color ramp here, just before the output. Switch linear to constant. Move the colors. And here we go. We can freely change the spot size by changing the 2 min value we made input earlier. And that's it for the stylized dynamic water ripples. Next, I will do a completely new style for the water surface. Then, I will mix them together later. I will drag the output node away first to start and cut the connection to the existing setup. We'll start by adding a Voronoi texture. Switch to 2D F1 to smooth F1, then duplicate it and change to F1 again. I will add now a subtract node to subtract them from each other. You can already see what's happening. Connect to output. Now we'll add a color ramp to make it sharp and 2D look. And move black and white closer together. Change linear to constant. I will add a value node to control both scales of them. Let's set them to around 7.6. Select the top one and Ctrl T for mapping node, then connect it to the other one. Change smooth to 0.75. Then, to get back the interesting lines, let's play with the black and white. To start the animation now, by distorting the vectors, we'll move the texture coordinate away and add Combine XYZ followed by separate XYZ. X is connected. Connect Z now. Since animation will happen on the Y, we don't need X or Z. Next will be noise texture, followed by multiply. And we'll add this now to the Y by adding math add node and connect both. Then connect it to Y. We start now to see distortion on Y. Change some values now. Scale to 50. Detail to 0. Roughness to 0. And change the multiply value to a very small one. To get the original shape, but a bit distorted. Continuing with Ctrl T. Then a value node. With a simple driver. Hashtag frame divided by 500 to make it slow, then connect it to location. And now a slight animation is start to appear. We'll duplicate everything here, link same value node to location, and to mix both, I will duplicate this add node and connect both. Then replace the result with the existing Y connection. I will increase this multiply value now. Then reduce noise scale and increase roughness. It's now animating in a cool relaxing way. Next, I will add colors and make the surface transparent. We'll start here after the main existing result. We'll add inverse color, followed by emission, and change color to sky blue, followed by transparent PSDF. To mix them now, we'll add a mix shader node. Switch inverse to factor, emission on top, transparent on bottom and here we go a nice animated colored and transparent surface cool now for the final step we'll mix both worlds together the dynamic ripple and the transparent surface and we'll start 
by adding mix color node, connect this color ramp to factor and the water surface here to A. Notice it's a red connection, and that's because we need to convert the shader. So I will add a shader to RGB in between. And now it's working. Connect the result to the output. And both worlds are now mixed. We'll make Ripple's color pure white now. And for a final touch, since it's not transparent anymore, I will add a mix shader node here. Connect to factor, then emission, copy same color. Then duplicate transparent node and mix both again. Increase emission strength so that it glows after compositing and render. And here we go. We can increase the spot size to whatever we want. Now for the water itself. We'll add a plane and move it down. Scale and move to cover the camera view. Apply scale and subdivide. Now add a new material, gradient texture, then color ramp, Control T for mapping, negative 90 on Z rotation, and play with colors now. And to add extra layer of depth, I will select the water surface, duplicate it, and move it down a bit. Duplicate the material, then change the emission color to darker blue. And copy it, paste it to the other emission. Increase ribble spot size. Let's now use darker colors for both emissions. And here we go. To change the look of the ripple, let's play with the noise scale. I made a simple compositor nodes here to give it a glow, which you can see here. Now, all I need to do is to start moving some objects to elements on water collection. And it will automatically do the trick. Same for other elements. Tweak some settings. And all is set, just like magic. A final thing I made, since all colors are 2D, is to add an outline using Grease Pencil, Objects Line Art. And just like that, it's done. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next one.